Hey everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get ghosted images in your background with a simple technique using Distress Oxide inks and some adorable images from Ink Blot Shop. The stamp set I'm using today is Flopsy Birds from Ink Blot Shop, and I'm using my favorite color of Distress Ink, which is Blueprint Sketch. I'm using the oxide inks today and I'm going to take all of these little birdies that you see here and I'm going to create a background for my card with them. I'm using the direct to paper technique to apply this gorgeous and perfect blue ink to my cardstock. When this is down and it's solidly covering the cardstock, it reminds me of those old mimeographs that we used to get. And remember how good they smelled? I'm probably not supposed to say that, but I can't think of a single human who doesn't think that was a great smell when you got that warm mimeographed paper in your hands in school. Please don't go sniffing a mimeograph just because I said that, if it even still exists. So I'm going to push that off, get some ink off of my inky fingers, and bring in my Misty. Now I have customized my Misty with the turquoise tapes. So excited that I can have one in blue. And I'm going to set the cardstock up so that I can stamp the birds off the edge of the cardstock. And I will just speed up my positioning of these birds. You don't have to watch me do that. But I'm just going to arrange them so that they're pretty close together and I can get a good background design with them. Now once they're where I want them, I'm just going to make sure that the card is lined up square. I don't know why it makes a difference watching this, because the birds are all at crazy angles. It doesn't matter. But that's just how I roll. I'm going to put a little bit of temporary adhesive down on my Misty Grid paper just so that the card doesn't move because I will be stamping this several times. So this is still a little bit wet, which is completely fine. And I'm going to line it up again square. Again, I don't know why. And just use a piece of paper to make sure that it's adhering to that little bit of Hermafix that I put down. And now for the fun part. The Distress Oxides are reactive with water, so I'm going to cover up my cardstock while I spritz my birds. And this technique will give you not a super crisp image because you're using water, but will use that fun oxidation property of the inks to create a subtle but interesting background with these other little birds. So you can see them there. I'm going to speed up the drawing just a bit with my heat gun. This will get lighter and lighter as it dries. And it really sort of looks like a blueprint. That's what's fun about Blueprint Sketch. So I'll get the excess water off and I will spray the birds again and over stamp them in the same place. And what I'm doing, the reason I'm over stamping it is. I just want them to be distinct in the background, so I'm letting the water do the work for me and just adding it multiple times. And once again, I'll dry it, and you can see how they start to emerge just a little bit as they dry, and I just think this is such a fun look. So one more time with the water. And you want to make sure you're not spraying so much water that drips from the lid of the Misty will fall onto your inked cardstock. Because, well, you might want it to, but that's not the look I'm going for here. I want to adjust the stamp images to be oxidized. So I'll dry it again, and then it's ready for me to move on to the rest of the card. Now I wanted to create a little scene where one bird was thinking of another bird. 
So I'm actually using another set from Inkblot Shop for the little thought bubble for this little bird to go into. And after I've stamped him, I'll just stamp that thought bubble directly on top of him. Now it's actually a speech bubble, but in my card, it's going to be a thought bubble. And I positioned it so that the edge of that bottom part lines up with the front of the bird so that you don't see an overlap. So next I will stamp the bird that is thinking of the other bird. He looks like a little puffin to me. He's so cute. And since you can emboss with VersaFine Claire, which is the ink that I used here, I'm just going to make sure I heat set it before I start watercoloring with distress markers. I'm using just my Ranger craft mat and two colors of distress ink with a water brush. And the way that I like to use a water brush is actually empty. I just dip it in water like I do a paintbrush and I find that that gives me a lot more control. The colors I'm using are Peacock Feathers and Blueprint Sketch. The Blueprint Sketch blends and then makes it match my background with the Distress Ink. When I'm done painting, I will cut these little guys out and you'll notice that I'm cutting off the larger bird's legs. That's because I'd already stamped over his ghosty image with black ink and I'm gonna glue him down and then cut out his little feet and glue those down as well. To make the edges of the die cut black so that they don't stand out against the background, I'm using my Copic Gazan Feud no idea how to say that, pen. And the reason that I like this one instead of a regular Copic marker is the brush tip. It has a nylon brush tip and I can get in all the little nooks and crannies of intricate fussy cut images and easily color the edges black. Sometimes I find if I'm just using a regular marker, there's a little bit too much ink and it bleeds back into my image. That does not happen with this particular pen. So this is my go-to for darkening the edges of die cuts. So then I'll just glue this little guy down and then add the thought bubble with the little tiny bird in it that he's thinking of. And then I went back with the little heart from the stamp set and some more VersaFine Claire. And I put a little heart by him. He misses his little birdie friend. So that's my card for today. Thanks so much for watching.